Today I'm listening to Dimash Kuda Bergen sing Across Endless Dimensions. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. This video was made by enthusiastic voice lovers just like you. So it's been a minute since I've had Dimash on the channel and that's because the song Be With Me, which I did a video for and just had so much fun with, has been blocked worldwide and it's not being released. I'm hoping that maybe if I appeal one more time they'll let me play it for all of you because I loved the song and I thought his performance was just great. I, it was just a really fun video for sure. Really fun to see him occupying a new space. It's like a whale swimming over him. Oh, it's a, an aquarium theme. Beautiful. That whale is really cool. I am so distracted by the gorgeous backdrop that's happening. I'm assuming it's an LED screen. It's so three-dimensional and amazing. I am so impressed by the stage performances that they put on over in Asia. I feel like they're so high-tech and really amazing looking. So I have to admit, I wasn't listening to Dimash as much. That's why I like going to do the deconstruction at the end. So please don't get discouraged with how I'm doing this so far. I'll try to redeem myself in the deconstruction and really focus on his singing. Such a very dramatic body posture that he's in right here. I mean, you just see where he's at physically at this moment, right before he's getting ready to blow us away with what I'm assuming is the chorus. This almost dance-like pose, this posture that he's in, just reminds me that he leaves everything, all of himself on the stage. He holds nothing back. Isn't this music wonderful? It's very romantic and very lush. I love the chord changes. I feel like it's really allowing him to emote and to really show what his voice can do in this more soft dynamic marking, but also just he's, he's elongating phrases. He's leaning into it in places, and we'll get into this again, like I said, in the deconstruction, but it's just so fun to see his artistry. He is so brilliant at being able to communicate a song. He is so musical. His music just oozes out of every pore, and that's what makes him so incredibly special.
I love how he's able to sing at full throttle, really intense, loud, dynamic marking, and then comes back within the next phrase or two to this hushed, angelic, gentle sound. It's so tender, and he's got both of these things happening, the strong and the tender happening all at the same time. Again, he is leaving all of himself on the stage. He's so generous with his artistry. And I think, again, I've said it before, this is why he's so well-loved by his fans, because they know that when they have an experience with Dimash listening to him, whether they're in the room or like we are online here watching him in a video, you are given an experience that is unforgettable. goodness. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was tremendous. Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. Okay guys, I've got to talk about the whale. I know that I've already talked about it, but I really want to talk about it some more. And I know this is a Dimash video, but how the heck did they get the whale on the stage with Dimash? And looking at it a little more closely, I'm recognizing that it's a special effect that they're doing. I'm not sure if it was happening while he was singing live or if it's something they added to the video afterwards, but it is so powerful. There's something so beautiful about this enormous life-size animal swimming above Dimash's head. It gives such an ethereal quality to the entire experience. Dimash has such a mastery of this speak singy kind of whispery sound that he does in a lot of his songs. He handles the lyric with such delicacy and what he's creating vocally along with what's happening on the stage around him is truly captivating. My soul. One thing I'm noticing in this second listen through is what's happening in the background tracking. It almost sounds like your ears are submerged, you're underwater, and it's adding to this diaphanous sound that they're building. This whole experience is so multi-sensory with what's happening in the aquarium, undersea vibe that's happening behind him. And then you've got the track laying on top of it, and then the way he's laying the, the vocal over the top 
it's very watery, very fluid, and creating this total immersion experience for the listener and viewer. So I'm also noticing in the second listen through that the song itself is rather repetitive, but you don't notice it, do you, because of his artistry and the way he is allowing it to unfold. What I want you to notice in this next clip is how he flips up the octave to really sing in that sweet spot in his voice. It's the place we all love him to be. Very, very powerful and resonant and present singing. He really leans into it with a lot of intensity. Listen to it right here. So he's singing with so much power and so much force while continuing to just allow his body to do what it knows how to do. His voice is so natural and so free. And then listen to how he comes down so immediately into a pianissimo dynamic marking. Dimash is in pristine voice. This is a really difficult thing to do, to go from singing with that much intensity down to that very soft dynamic marking. It takes two different ways of singing, and he's mastered it so beautifully. It's really difficult to do. But the mastery just continues, because in this next clip, you can hear him grow again in his intensity, in his volume. That is the most perfect example of crescendo that I have ever heard. Let's listen to it one more time. Sometimes I wish singing was an Olympic sport because you could see elite vocal athletes like Dimash Kudai Bergen exhibiting incredible technique like this crescendo. It's so beautifully executed. His breath control is on point, as always, and he's doing it with such musicality. One thing I want you to watch in this next clip is the way he throws his arm. For those of you who've studied with me, you're probably laughing right now because we do a lot of throwing, we punch, we kick, we do a lot of disrupting the brain. Now, Dimash is doing this probably for more dramatic effect, but you can actually do this technique as a vocalist, an amateur vocalist, as you are trying to work on a song and you have a sticky spot in the song somehow, throw the note literally with your arm. Take the note in your hand, imaginary note, bing, and we're going to throw it. And you'll see him do that in this clip right here. When you do motions like this, it really breaks up the tension in your body. It keeps your brain from continuing to say, this note's too high, you can't do this note. And it makes your brain think, ooh, I gotta focus on throwing the note instead of 
telling you how terrible you are. I don't think that's why Dimash is doing that here, but it's just a really good reminder that it's something you can do at home to get your voice to free up. You never want to practice standing in one place with your knees locked and feeling tension. You need to be moving while you practice. Practice is the place to really get loose and free. Move, move, move while you practice so that when you do have to stand up straight and tall and have some sort of decorum on the stage, you can just shift your weight a little bit and your body's like, oh yeah, that's right, I need to relax. But then we get into my favorite part of the song, which is at the end where he sings this beautiful vocalise in a really high straight tone. He sounds like an angel. It's literally like watching vocal ballet. He is so accomplished and oh amazing i wish i could sing like him he's so glorious We have to listen to this part one more time before we go. There's no doubt in my mind that Dimash Kudebergen is in his prime and it's going to be so interesting to see what he continues to do as an artist. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Dimash Kudebergen. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wiseo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. This experience today has been a total immersion into beauty for my soul. And I want to remind you that your soul needs that experience as well. I know you love beauty too because you enjoy this music as much as I do. But be sure you're taking time out to rest, time out to look in the eyes of the person that you love, time out to taste some wonderful yummy food from your area of the world. Take time to really relish beauty and let it fill your soul. And in the meantime, keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye guys.